was wondering what this place was. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know... Seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... He got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. Wow. Dad's money may have gotten the ball rolling, but my job is to put it to work. Making the world a better place. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, this is Catherine. May I ask who's calling? Oh, of course. Come through. Here, follow me. That data does not have to with the AI learning we did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. It's so nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Whoa, this is cool! These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves and not hurt them. Done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, why not? Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. 
I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. I, I know. Now up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting edge proton beam work using protons instead of x-rays with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. see here. Where do I even start? I did. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment maybe? I wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Harry. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but I'll we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. Make sure you talk to HR about the referral. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school, to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, 
When you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. So calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long divisions, if you look at it that way. Got it. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Let's see. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow! I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on. Where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? 
put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. Make my mom and make proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me. Your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong. Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Ah oh, man, we were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Glittering? Come on, man.
Take a look around. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, Birdie. Take me to your nest. I'm gonna miss these chases when I'm in Emily May. The adrenaline going through the city like it's an obstacle course never gets old. Getting to do real science, though. For actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. Whoa, is that a real gun? It actually works? You have renter's insurance! Up, up, and you won't get away! No, 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 no! no. Nice cloaking tack! Mind if I take a look under the hood? I'll take that as a no. That's two cloaks now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are... against Gargan. I'm just saying I've kicked his butt a few times. Now, where's your boss? Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay, let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Is that your home? Come on, Birdie! Let go! Come on! Stop buy a ticket for this ride! I'm gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can take up some building records. Where are we going now? Hey, MJ. 
MJ, did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait, this buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city, like whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I want to find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Heard something. Gotta drop one of them away. That's one. That was fast. You find something? Two things. This armed group calls themselves hunters. And they've got a lot of accents. Hmm. International mercenaries? That's what I'm thinking. Could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Oh, and Generators speaking of work, these I accepted Harry's offer. That's fantastic! We should celebrate later after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. Prepping for war. everyone. Now, what are they up to? Hello. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others all around the city. I'll send this to Genki, but he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Yes, it's 
Make sure the beasts have their eyes dead. You want some hands. You hungry too? Down you go! Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Nice. Time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. Surrounding bases are online. Remaining blind secured. Cloaking field operational. Good. Beetles, talent drones, ammunition, Russia. These guys are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich. Or well connected. Or both. Wits can only mean one thing. Find my prey. All right, where to next? A research lab? An inner demon mask. Lee's old superpower gang. Craven better not be trying for the same with his hunters. Aunt Maid was so proud of her work at Beast. Lee broke bad in a big way. I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. Craven's studying Lee's blood. Maybe he's trying to figure out where his powers came from. Or how to get them for himself. Tiara Apitai. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some 
pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to Riotea? Guess Craven could. Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. If Craven's adding this to his arsenal. Ugh. Dr. Farley Stillwell? His genetic experiments gave Scorpion his abilities. Craven sure does his research. Were they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa. And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. <laughs> Would you look at that? Hey, MJ. I have another name for you. Craven. Seems like he's the boss of these guys. And he's here on some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. How many more fires must we light out in the city? As many as we need to. Craven said they surrounded him in his dream. But if his dream is accurate, then the fires are fated to happen anyway. Why not wait for them? I will head in on his terms, not fights. I've got this. The main Craven waves. You know the story behind that? Didn't know there was one. What was that noise? It was some mine outside Savo. There was a man-eater who killed close to a hundred workers. Craven was young, in his pride. He trapped the lion easily, going through a few hours. Damn. But when he finally got close enough to draw his blade, the lion was stronger, was nothing. faster, more cunning. And it was only by luck that he managed to strike the killing wall. And the sensation would afford that moment. I know it. Craven had never gotten so close before. So he took that mane as a reminder. And like a bloodhound, he uses it to find killers who stink of death. Just as much as the man he You're feeling sleepy. I hear you were not impressed by the Scorpio. <laughs> it's not that I wasn't impressed. Relying on hallucinogens and playing with your prey, it's just not the way I hunt. But I can still appreciate you. Just be quiet. What the? What happened? I was worried Lee wouldn't have any spirit left in him, after being locked away for so long. Status? Repeat. Need a status update. Could be trouble. See what you find. Heading over now. <laughs> Oh, 
fui alguma coisa. Moving to their position. You now know where it is. I can hear him crawling on the Sweet dreams. I know you're here, mate. Give up. Nap time. I could really use some answers instead of questions right now. That looks promising. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Wait. I kept bringing Scorpion and Lee on a hunt. show with that attitude! Nice doggy kitty robot! Those teeth are no joke!
this the best you can do? They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment. My date's almost here and you're surfing the web? Ma, no one says surfing the web anymore. Uh, can you just please get dressed? Okay, okay. See, you got your good lipstick on. <laughs> you must really like this guy, huh? Miles? I'm sorry. Look, next time, I promise. I, Miles. I love you. I found a base belonging to those safari pirates, or hunters, as they call themselves, and learned their boss's name, Craven. And he killed Scorpion, and he's got a whole hit list of supervillains. Wait, what? Does this mean Lee? Don't know, but this list is extensive. These must be the people Marco warned us about. They were hunting Sandman. No way. And Felicia's on their list, too. Like that? Your ex? Exactly. She won't listen to me if I say she's in danger. But maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ... Re oh, 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 hold that thought. <laughs> NYC. The mecca of basketball. Sure, you can play it anywhere with just a ball in the net. But when you got the people in the apartment buildings watching, the other players trash talking, and the sound of rubber hitting asphalt... There's a reason they call it the city game. I'm here, Pete. What was it you were saying? If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you. Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything. Call you back in a sec. What's up? Here. I'm stopping you today. You fools taking Throw me the Molotov! You're gonna wear me too! The bloody burns eternal! 
what were you saying again? If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you! Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up and... We're going to find Lee Miles. I promise. Guess I've got some time until MJ calls. What's going on in the neighborhood? <laughs>